Complexity, yes, they got firepower, but I'm not sure they can handle the tactical play of NRG. Like, we know what we did wrong. We know where we got outplayed. Complexity, hold their nerve once again. They're looking so efficient. They're making the right call. Sean Peaks oh my God. gives himself up. Shazam can pull this all back. Oh, he's, he's, done it. Done it. he's done it for complexity. You guys fought your hearts out today. I'm super, super proud of you. And hold your heads up high. Seriously, that was a fucking battle. Next day, do or die, NRG. Uh, thoughts on the nuke pick? Yeah, nuke was a weird one. Um, I said to Matt outside that they're going to do something a little iffy because uh, we thought they were going to pick overpass. It's one of their stronger maps. Seeing nuke versus energy was actually pretty funny, and everyone kind of laughed. We're like, okay, now we're going to pick cash, and we know we're comfortable on cash, and then third map we'll be fine with. We expected them fully to pick overpass. They're like almost tier one on it. You know, they've beaten really good teams on it, and so we did our prep work for overpass, 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 and then out of nowhere they picked nuke, and we're like. Okay, we were willing to play Nuke versus Astralis, the best Nuke team in the world. Losing to them does not hurt our confidence on Nuke itself as a map. We know what we did wrong. We know where we got outplayed. We are going to get into Nuke as the first map of our final series of the day here. Like we said, Complexity is starting the CT side. They made a mistake. They probably should have went with Overpass, but we were also prepped for that map as well. I know why they did it, in my opinion. I mean, I haven't talked to Energy personally, but I would say they're a team that values their prep. So we didn't have any games on Overpass. We had a game from the other day right there for them on Nuke. The CT side on Nuke, we actually, we didn't have the best half. It was an 8-7 half. Started off decent. It was a little back and forth. Cirque kept destroying me outside when I was taking peeks and like timings and stuff. And props to him for getting those kills. I just remember the feeling at the end of CT like, wow, that could have been a lot better for us, but we're still definitely in it. Just samples one back, all on Breezy. And Ricky on the AUG will make it eight to seven, but it's eight rounds on the T side for NRG. We started off slow, but then our T half was just super strong in the end. We managed to bring it back, take it out to overtime. You know, big plays by Peter across the board, and, and, and you know, me and Roy got that 2v5, and you know, it was pretty awesome that we were able to kind of bring some luck back into our side after losing it. With Nuke as a result of it, Def staring and finding Fugly. He's got one down already. It's Def that's going to win it. We also have um, a problem closing games right now. We'll go up 49 or 14 10 and then really struggle in them last two rounds. So we need to find a way as a team to actually just to close them rounds and finish the games off. It was in overtime where it was 17 18 and Daps had like. Five, seven or eight seconds to come and chase me down in dark spot and I was stuck there with the AWP in a 1v1 and thank god I hit that shot because then we would have lost that map. Eight seconds, has to play into the oh! He just barely gets it, that's why you give him a double off. The 1v3 was Shaz, actually his death kind of helped me because they didn't expect me in that exact same spot a few seconds later so yeah I just kind of caught two of them off guard instantly and then the 1v1 was just all about sound. I just. I started walking around and I heard him running behind me so I knew exactly where he was and it wasn't that difficult. Breezy knows exactly where he's going but standing on the ah! line, the off angle, he's gonna win it for complexity and look how stoic he is. So going into cash and we kind of knew like different things about their play style, about how they rotated, about how Cirque liked to op. So we came in pretty comfortable in terms of like how they like to play it. This is actually the lowest map in terms of time is played for an RG. So just the final stat that they set the scene. Dude, the beginning of Cash was full on CSGO. That was just a crazy start. I mean, you won't see a 3-3 scoreline where it goes back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. I mean, that's rare. This is a map complexity play. That is a detailed execution there. Smokes all over the place, just zam. Railing players with the scalp. It was pretty scrappy. We kept getting deagled and we didn't really have an answer against their deagles. We're trying to come out of a main, boom, one dig, boom, another one dig, boom, another kill goes down. Force buying, winning the force buy, and then losing the pistols again, and then buying back, and they, they're losing to our force buys. They can't continue this madness anymore. You can see there's back and forth action. NRG win the pistol. Complexity answer back with the Desert Eagles. Eventually we broke them, and we broke out on a couple of rounds streak, but in general, it was a, it was a pretty even half. Overall, we were out playing them on CT side pretty hard. Probably should have been the close, I forget what the score is at 14-9 maybe. We probably should have closed it. Daps managed to one-shot me in the millisecond that he was able to peek before Rory killed him. It's all on Daps, one on three. They're on the defuse. No, they don't know no. yeah. got time. They got him off and he got the one kill. 
and that sucked because he missed the diffuse by like this much. It was nothing. I cheered. I think some other people cheered too because it made the diffuse noise. They ended up fighting back really hard. Like they're a really good team. And Dev's got time for the diffuse. If he can get him, he's gonna hold, but he's gotta get he's on it. it. He's done it. He's Easy. got the kit. He absolutely does. That's absolutely done. Oh, Shazam's 1v3 to win the game. That was. That was just absolutely amazing. Bombs inside of the site, so it's all or nothing for Shazam. They've got to buy in hand. I knew the two guys in site were low, so I threw that HE grenade and I was surprised it didn't kill him. And then I heard that Heaven guy, like, making all this noise. I think there was a guy, Heaven, that was, uh, he was shitting bricks a little bit. Uh, I don't know what he was doing. Once he makes noise, Shaz immediately knows that this guy's doing something in Heaven ramp, so he can just walk in his sight. That was like my opportunity to just walk up on these guys, you know? Like, I know they're gonna be playing it safe on the site. Not at an open angle for Shazam to take advantage of. This is Dab's dead, no question. Knows Ethan's on the site, boom, back! He's read it so well! You know, like, when people give you the opportunity to take advantage of their mistakes, you have to. And then from there, you know, I just won their own, I guess, and it, it was a good feeling. He molotoped himself out of heaven. I think he panicked. He, he expected himself. both of his teammates to stay alive. He switched to the op to hit a wondrous shot. Fugly, shoulder peaks. Oh my God. Gives himself up. Shazam can pull us all back. Oh, oh he's done yeah. it. He's done it for complexity. Yes. 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 We were so glad that it finished at that point because yep. we did not want to take it any further. Peter, how you feel? I feel good, but, but, but. Just, we're still one and two. So don't get but. too happy, but yeah. Feels good. We've uh, now accomplished what we really, really, really needed to do, which was grab that one win and end up back in the challenger stage for the next major. And now uh, we're just gonna go play our hearts out. I just don't see a world where FaZe or Nico or anyone, Yanko for that matter, is going to be underestimating complexity at this point. Cash was actually, that was one of the smoothest maps I think we've ever played. Uh, our prep work was insane on Cash. We actually counter shredded them. Uh, we hard counted them more than I expected actually. All the grenades that we hit were actually really spot on and really one of the main reasons why we won that game. Let's go back to Tree. Molotov as well, that pushes him even further off the angle, so if he was holding in the corner it would do damage. Flash, they're doing everything, so even he can't spray through the smoke. Not a chance to even catch anyone in transition as they get the bomb out of the site. He backs off further and they're gonna just call it. They stayed pretty much to how they normally play, so we were able to read them really well whether it's individually or with our calls. We had an idea, it was an audible. I think Peter called it, he was, uh, he called the double exec. So the double exec on B is obviously do B main pressure and then do the side nades. B exec strat was just pretty simple. First you throw a couple of nades to bait out the other team's utility, they'll drop their smokes or whatever. So when you throw the second wave of the execute, then they don't have anything to stop it, so. Pretty simple. Dredd's doing the only thing he can, trying to get above the flames, but he still burns alive, and Ricky's got Guardian. What an execution. So it was good. a double execution. They really had no chance in the B site. They were just both on site, running around like headless chickens. Kudos to, to Face for coming back, but Complexity is by no means playing bad right now. I think it's two teams that is slowly but surely starting to fire up. I think we played our hearts out, but I think everybody, including myself, made tiny mistakes that you, you can just see. It would, it would have been all the difference. Anything could happen. It's wide open at this stage. Complexity looked like they're on. Second map goes in favor of FaZe. We move on to Dust 2. The theme has been our CT side has been terrible. I don't know why. I think the players on the team would all agree that without a couple small mistakes getting picked here and there, um, we would have probably taken the W on that map as well. Complexity are not giving up easily. They will not roll over in this series. And this is it. This map determines who's gone. Like, we kind of got exploited on that map. For me, myself, that one stings a lot because I feel like it's personally one of my better maps as an opera, and I just had, like, a poor performance on it. At this moment, he wants to disappear completely and be invisible, but it's not going to work out. Adren's got a depth, has got a save. It's 14-14. You mentioned it. Money gone. On another day, I think we win that map. I don't think we did anything necessarily wrong. We had just a few small mistakes, letting Nico up mid and playing the late rounds kind of poorly, but overall, I think we played pretty well. Oh, my goodness! It's the AK-47 that gets him into a three versus one. FaZe did an all right job on that map, I felt, but it was nothing crazy. I feel like, again, it was, it was us just kind of losing to ourselves a bit. It's been an absolutely incredible performance. They've upset everyone at every turn to get this far. He's got Nico down, bombs planted, but they're ready for him. Guardian confirms it. You know, it hurt, it hurt so much uh, after we lost. I mean, 
but after after like you know like even today I was just looking at it you know we played Astralis we played MIBR we played NRG and we played Phase Clan that's the number one number four number five and six ranked team by the seedings at this tournament and like you know that's not an easy run to go after and the fact that we we almost made it like past phase is pretty good and i think that we should be proud of how we played throughout the whole tournament it's just the last map that's pretty heartbreaking but um you know it was not an easy easy run and i think we might have earned a lot of respect as a team you guys were in a fucking dog fight and you kept fighting and you kept fighting and you kept fighting that's all i asked from you guys ever I kept screaming it at the stage, you probably couldn't hear me. I was just fing fight. Just fing fight. And you guys fought your hearts out today. I'm super, super proud of you and hold your heads up high. Seriously, that was a fing battle. I'm really proud of you guys. Uh, looking back, we should have beaten FaZe, regardless of the perception is of our team versus their team. Uh, in that server, in that moment, we should have won. We outplayed them, I think, but they're overall individual plays saved them. Our goal before the major was to qualify for top eight and we failed, so overall disappointing. I would say I'm pretty proud. It's it's always a tough thing to say though when you go out before you feel like you should have. You never know what happened in the 2-2 match, but uh, overall I'd say I was, was pretty proud of the boys. Yeah, so I've had almost nine and a half thousand hours in this game now and it's the first time I actually felt proud of how we performed as a team. I'm not exactly happy with uh, the, the result in overall, but considering that the teams that we played and the way that we went about it, I think um, people, we, we exceeded expectations. We really showed after our boot camp what we're actually capable of, but uh, now that we played here at the major, we can all kind of raise our expectations. Now we have to play consistently at that level, you know, beating teams like NRG and competing with FaZe and even MIBR, like those kinds of teams. That's our next step to get consistency. Yeah, this roster could be so much more. Um, you know, we were formed about a month ago. The future's bright. I hope Jordan stays as an incredible teammate. Uh, he's a great player. When he gets to these events, he's just completely laser focused. Um, and I think the whole team was, we just gelled together. No one was caring about stats. No one was caring about the scoreboard. It was all about the victory. And, and it's a shame we couldn't bring it, but I'm sure we gave uh, a spectacle for the fans to watch. And the last question. Dodge the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's next? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. what's next? <laughs> what's next is you guys can catch me online, get a little excitement out of the community, and you never know, maybe you'll see me in a server again soon.